Hi, I'm Tom McCurdy. I'm with Airs in USA. I am the uh, Northern US uh, Regional Manager for Water and Wastewater Blower and Compressor Sales. And I wanted to talk to you today about uh, blower selection. Probably one of the key factors in selecting a blower is proper sizing of the blower for the proper flow, proper pressure, and um, more important, the proper range of flow for that particular application. Uh, aerated sludge, uh, digestion, air scour applications for filters. Blowers are probably one of the biggest uh, consumers of electricity in a wastewater treatment plant. So proper selection of those blowers is critical in the front end. And in a lot of cases, what engineers will do is they will try to make sure that there is enough machine in the plant, enough capacity in that plant, so that on the worst day of the year, meaning the hottest day, the highest humidity, they have enough air to, to run the plant, because it's one of the worst things that could happen is if they don't have enough air capacity to run the plant, and uh, you know it, it starts to compromise the ability of the plant to uh, clean up the wastewater prior to discharge. So you know the engineer, first and foremost, wants to make sure that base is covered. What happens is that the system ends up being so oversized that it can't handle more of the real operating conditions that the plant goes under. I've seen many cases where uh, blowers have been installed in wastewater plants for you know, 100,000 gallons a day and they're only operating maybe 30,000 gallons a day. And the plant machinery, the blowers, were not sized to really turn down to that point. You know, with a positive displacement blower, does have quite a bit of range of flow to it. Um, but there have been cases where the blowers have been so oversized that even at the low end, uh, it's still pushing out too much air, with the result being that the blower is operating at you know, way down in its range and not uh, running as quite as efficiently as it could, with the result being wasted air, wasted power, and the electric bill starts going needlessly high. So what do you do? Start with the right sizing of those blowers. Now blowers, um, you know, I realize that they are just but a portion of an overall scheme of a wastewater plant. You, you don't want to have six blowers to take care of all those individual flow needs, but somewhere along the line there's got to be a right sizing of it. And that's where your Airson representative would come in to help you with that. That's where I would come in to uh, help in the right sizing of the blowers. The cost of power is going up and up and certain um, uh, federal limits and regulations that, that limit the uh, amount that people spend on a kilowatt hour that's going to be released very soon. So the consideration of power is getting to be a stronger and stronger motivator to do a right sizing of machines. The best bet is to see your rep and you know, they will be contacting myself or my counterpart Kevin Grant in the south and the west. We'll be able to help you with the proper selection.